Hey guys, we're taking a bit of a break from Marvel Legends Onslaught lately, and I'm going to look at something a little different. Uh, I've shown these off in one of the recent haul videos. Just something a little fun, a little different. Not really a review, but I'm going to talk about them. So today we're going to take a look at the recent Super 7 Masters of the Universe muscle figures that I got a hold of. So we've got some of the Nerd Block exclusive packs, and we've also got the PowerCon exclusive slime trash can. So we're going to open these guys up and take a look. All right, guys, so here's the small selection of uh, muscle that I'm going to take a look at today. We've got three of the Nerd Block exclusive colorway packs. These are like a lavender color. That's all that's exclusive about them is the colorway. We've got the PowerCon exclusive slime pack, which has all of the Wave 2 figures. I believe that's what's inside this can. And then I've got these down here as well. I'm not opening these three. Uh, we've got two of the blue, kind of powder blue Skeletors that came out of the pinatas at the Super 7 Skeletors lair in uh, San Diego for 2017 Comic-Con. I don't really want to open these just because, you know, they're kind of a special thing. And then this is one of the original ones, the Comic-Con 2015 for the Mo Tussle. So this is before they even changed the name from when Super 7 got the rights to do muscle for whatever in the world they want. So this was specific Motu stuff, so they named it Motussel, and this is just Purple Skeletor. But this one's kind of special as well. I'm, I'm, I don't know exactly what they go for, but I assume I got a really good price, because I paid like, I don't know, $3 for this thing. So maybe they're not as rare or collectible as I thought. But we're going to take a look at uh, these guys here. So I'm going to open all these up, and then we'll kind of go through them. All right, guys, so here they are in a big heap. And for the uninitiated, um, you know, for those of you that don't know what Muscle is, Muscle started back in the 80s by Bandai. Uh, that's what that's where they really became known from the Kaniku Mon series. It was a manga anime. Uh, you might be familiar with it as Ultimate Muscle here in the states because it had a show in the early 2000s that was relatively popular. But it started uh, back in the 80s and then it came over to America via Mattel in '85, and it was just labeled as Muscle. Millions of unusually small creatures lurking everywhere uh, is what it stood for. And there were there were a ton of them. I personally never had them. Uh, I was I was young, you know, not, '85. I was one year old, so I didn't have this stuff. I knew what they were later on, and I've I've come to since appreciate them. I had monsters in my pocket when I was a kid, which was a blatant cash grab ripoff of uh, of the style of muscle, but it wasn't muscle proper. So, you know, Super 7 now has the rights. They make a bunch of these. They've got Mega Man. They've got Alien. They've got uh, Robotech, Iron Maiden, their own uh, The Worst property. And, and Muscle uh, for Masters is where it kind of started for them. So the trash can thing is an homage to the original line. That's how they packed multi-packs or, or bigger multi-assortments in the Mattel series for the Kinikuman stuff, the Muscle stuff, in trash cans. So that's why this is a trash can for those wondering. So let's pull them out. There's a whole bunch in here. Um, I didn't really know what was going to be in this thing. Very excited to see that there's a big old Castle Grayskull here, which just looks so cool. We've got a Battle Cat. We've got Evil Lynn. Uh, we've got Skeletor. Hoisting up the Havoc Staff. I'm not sure if these are going to stand too well. They might be kind of weird and warped a little bit. We've got a Sorceress. And of course, obviously, if you've heard me talk about translucent plastic before, you know that I am 100% on board with the clear slime green color. We've got a Stinkor. So there's my boy Stinkor right there. We've got a Cobra Khan. We've got a Stratos. Spikor. And let's see, we've got He-Man. I guess he's kind of important. And we've got... Oh, Fisto. And of, of course we've got Orko. He looks great, he looks really cool. These are kind of hard to pick up because they're 100% uh, translucent. But they, they do look so cool. So this is definitely going to be a problem for me, I have a feeling. I'm slightly concerned about my prospects with this line. So we got a buzz-off in this set. I don't really know what the assortment is. I've, I've done very little research on these. I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants on these. So keep that in mind. I'm not the greatest authority on what actually is supposed to be here. We've got a Manny Faces. We've got Ram Man. We've got a Cobra Khan. And that's the same mold as this guy back here. Same with Spikor and Stinkor, which I knew that going in. 
So I believe that this is some sort of crossover between maybe Wave 1 and Wave 2 with uh, with these guys. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't, I'm not 100%. Not I know the, uh, the trash can is Wave 2. It's listed as Wave 2. So we've got a uh, Whiplash and a Triclops and a Merman down here. These things look really cool. I'm actually pretty excited about these. They're goofy. They are a little on the expensive side from time to time. If you buy the, the multi-carded or the multi-carded, multi-figure blister packs, they are six bucks for three, so two dollars each. They're about two inches tall. They have a tremendous level of sculpted detail on them, though. The translucent figures are a little harder to make out just because you can't see the shadow on them very well. But Castle Grayskull in particular, if I can catch some light on it, that looks awesome. Like, that's definitely a recreation of the vintage castle. That is awesome. That's really, really cool. Battle Cat also is a recreation of the vintage toy here. So, yeah, these are pretty cool. I mean, they're, they're fun little, little things. I don't know what in the world I'm going to do with them, but uh, they are pretty neat at the same time. And again, translucent plastic, so Super 7, if you want to make more translucent plastic muscle, they do make translucent alien in a blood red colorway, which is awesome. I don't know if I need to go down that road or not. Super 7 really knows how to market to people who like color variations because they themselves like that kind of thing. So it's kind of a dangerous prospect for me, but I've already been on the lookout for other stuff from these. I've already, I've already had a full cart's worth of muscle on my uh, Super 7 account that I haven't just pulled the trigger on yet because I'm trying to maybe track down some deals first. But these things are really, really cool. Far more interesting and fun than I had actually anticipated. Uh, you know, like I said, I've never been one who's actually had muscle product before because I just wasn't... It wasn't a thing when I was of the age to have them, but I did have Monster in my pocket and I knew the fun associated with that. So I kind of knew what I was getting into. It's just not uh, not as nostalgic for me, but boy, these are uh, these are really cool. They do have a tremendous level of detail, and I do like the assortment here. I believe that the trash can is, it is what you what you see here. What you see is what you get in terms of this assortment. So the 12 of Grayskull, Cobra Khan, Stinkor, Orko, Spycor, Fisto, Stratos, He-Man, Evil Lin, Skeletor, Sorceress, and Battle Cat. So someone let me know if I'm wrong. If you know more than I do about these, feel free to lay down some knowledge. But I think these are really cool. Uh, again, you know, it's, this isn't a real review. It's mostly a, hey, let's look at some, some little rubber toys together. But, uh, you know, the level of detail on these guys is actually pretty, pretty insane. They look very vintage while being very much a modern, full of detail type of little fun toy. Uh, so the colorway thing is probably going to get me in trouble. I'm probably going to have five or six of each of these if, if they exist. But yeah, I think this is going to hook me. And I would be curious to know if you guys are interested in these uh, at all. I mean, they, they interest me because they're Motu, but they also interest me because of the color variation aspect of them. I don't know why that does it for me. And then, of course, the translucent plastic really, really did it. And I've rambled on here for about six, seven minutes at this point. So, yeah, I think they're pretty cool. Uh, there's something different, something fun. They are a little on the pricey side, sort of. It just depends on, you know, your level of interest, I suppose. I'm probably going to snag the Robotech ones for sure. And there are some Iron Maiden ones coming out that I'm going to get. I missed a red set of, of Iron Maiden ones, but there's a, uh, there's a black set coming, so I'll have to get those because I can't not have them. So uh, that, that's it. Again, not really a review. I think they're cool. If you like these little kind of toys, they're probably right up your alley. You probably already have them because they, they aren't new by any means. They've been around for a few years. So that's going to do it for this little quick look at uh, Super 7's muscle figures. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time.